Hello, and welcome to another virtual Toys R Us tour. These usually go out for folks in the States, in the UK, other parts of the world that no longer have Toys R Us. Uh, but this virtual tour is going to go out to my fellow Ontarians as well. I recorded this one a couple of weeks ago before our third lockdown. We are currently in lockdown state. And it's uh, especially stricter now because they've taped off anything that's non-essential at Walmart and other stores like that. So you can't even get to the toy section. So it's especially nice to be able to look back at this footage that's a few weeks old and walk into a Toys R Us again, at least virtually. And these doors aren't the front doors. Uh, right now, those that's actually the exit, and the only way to get in is through the side door over here, the Babies R Us entrance. There's Jeffrey greeting us with some disinfectant for those who want it, already all disinfected up. And you're greeted with the Babies R Us section, all the baby clothes, and... There was a time, I think it was in the 90s, or, or maybe it was the uh, Audis, um, where Toys R Us was in real trouble, uh, both in the States and in Canada, and it was Babies R Us that bailed them out. There's a cute little chipmunk. And uh, by expanding the Babies R Us section, that's what uh, kept Toys R Us afloat. A couple of plush things here. This is a new section here in the Kitchener Toys R Us, my childhood Toys R Us, from way back when. All of the party stuff. Got some pinatas there. Party. Balloons. We got uh, helium balloons here now. You can actually buy little helium tanks and fill them up at home for birthday parties. Welcome to the Imaginarium. This is a really awesome section. Uh, it's kind of like Mastermind toys if you've got those. Uh, I know we've got them here in Ontario. Uh, more kind of educational toys. Fisher Price section for the toddlers. And love that wood. I'll show that off in a bit uh, in the Imaginarium section. There's Play Doh Color Burst. All sorts of different Play Doh sets. They seem to be really pushing this Color Burst gimmick. The Play Doh Play Sets, where you can mold all sorts of different things. There's a bunch of monkeys. And there's Thomas the Tank Engine. This is what's really cool about Toys R Us ever since all the closures in the States. Canada has really upped their game by having things like this. And I've done some Toys R Us tours as Patreon exclusives. Not just in Kitchener, but around Ontario. And it's really cool to go to the different Toys R Us's and see things like that. There was a giant T-Rex dinosaur at one. Uh, the Kitchener one had the big Lego dis displays a while ago. There's some gunned. Gotta get a gunned, right? Uh, there's a giant Jeffrey. Had another one, too. So cool to see actual big, cool things that you can't buy. It's cool that they have so many things that you can buy, but it's also neat when they have some sort of big fixture that's just there for display and you have to go to Toys R Us to see it. There's some more baby stuff. Some more plush. There's Boo from Monsters, Inc. And this section is especially special to me. Not really these days, but back in the day, this section right here, this spot is where all of the action figures were. Brave Star and Silverhawks and Thundercats, G.I. Joe, Transformers. Here's the floor of the Imaginarium. Sure takes me back to Highway Market. Anyone remember Highway Market in uh, Kitchener, Ontario with the wood floors? These aren't creaky floors, though. And there's uh, some craft stuff. Glow-in-the-dark glue. What a cool idea. Good old Elmer's glue. Man, glue has gotten really fun. Look, glitter glue. Glue used to just be something that you used to piece things together, hold them together, but now even the glue is fun. Metallic slime kit. That's neat. Try that in the slime pit for the evil horde. Etch a sketch still around. Not Wi Fi compatible. Does not need Wi Fi, just needs your imagination. And some other creative things. Uh, always great deals at Toys R Us. 25% off 
is a tag you see on a lot of different sections. Uh, some food toys? Is this actual food? Or is it... Eh, it's a toy. And slime. Used to be really hard to find slime here. I remember when I was doing the firehouse video, I couldn't find slime anywhere. And uh, now they're fully stocked. Bikes to trains to video games. Gotta have bikes at Toys R Us. And cool display. They don't just sit there. They, they're actually elevated up on risers. And I think some, if not all, of my uh, display skills for my own collection come from Toys R Us. Because Toys R Us wasn't just about putting things on shelves, but they really knew how to arrange things back then, and and even now. Uh, there's that giant Monopoly board on the ground in the board game section. Gotta follow the arrows. Make it a game, it'll be more fun that way. Some puzzles here. Got a Christopher Reeve puzzle. And an Adam West puzzle. Tons of board games. There's some classics like Risk, Monopoly, some new stuff, Puglicious, Trouble, Sharkbite, Life, Peeing Pup. Gotta have those toilet humor games. Hungry Hungry Hippos. One of my all-time favorites. So cool that it's still available. And uh, the newer version of it, the Hungry Unicorns. That one was cool too. Deluxe Bingo. Can get bingo and Chinese checkers at Toys R Us. That's so cool. Dominoes. I like that the classics are here as well. Try Ominoes. And the Nerf section. Now, these are awesome. I've never really taken a good look at these guns, but they look fantastic. And I know the classified, there are some classified G.I. Joe individuals who don't dig the Nerf guns, Nerf uh, designs that come with some of the classic figures. And uh, I, ah, oh, Twister, the classic. I, I like the Nerf designs. I think they look cool, um, especially in life size. After taking a closer look at them just there, they're pretty cool. So they don't really bother me with the classified figures. I totally understand why the realistic guns aren't included. I prefer those, but, uh, you know, the Nerf guns aren't bad. It's better than, like, totally sci-fi looking futuristic guns. And some car toys here. Look at the size of this playset. $200. $199.99 Canadian. That is a beast. In 30 years, there's going to be some uh, grown-ups going, oh, I remember that one. I had that one. It was awesome. And hello, Newman. Lots of Dennis Nedry's still here. Jurassic World section. Dinos. Giant dinosaurs. And giant raptor type thing. Animal, whatever that is. Some new toy lines I'm not familiar with. Tonka trucks. Nice blend of uh, the classics and the new stuff. Here's the WWE section. It's pretty sparse. Not much there. And uh, coming up on the Marvel section. Marvel Legends. Some of my uh, framing here is tight. Or uh, sometimes you see me point at the ground or... If you see a cut, it's it's me trying to get out of the way of people. I think it's just common courtesy to not tape people while you're doing something like this. So uh, they are there, they or they were there when I was filming this. But uh, when you see me do these tours, yeah, just <laughs> you can see right there, uh, I try to quickly pan away or I'll just cut away from uh, folks in the store. And uh, Power Rangers, another perennial resident of Toys R Us. Star Wars section is pretty bare too. There's not much going on here. There's this uh, cool prototype helmet. That's really neat. Play sets. The uh, three and three quarter 
uh, section is especially bare. The vintage collection. All I got is Bespin Luke. We got Grogu though. Tons of Grogu. Both the, uh, the plush one and the animatronic one. And Transformers fans are going to get a kick out of this. Look at this. From end to end, nothing but Transformers on an entire aisle. Hey, guess who showed up in our timeline again? And this guy as well, Ectotron. So, once again, proof positive. Plastic finds a way for anyone who couldn't get Ectotron the first time through. And uh, I'm not familiar with this version. This one comes with a comic. It doesn't come in a G1 style box, but there's Ectotron back on pegs. And whoa, Nelly. $89.99. That's steep. That's stiff, as wrestling fans would say. Plus the DeLorean, gigawatt, 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 whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Shouldn't it be gigawatt? If it's... Eh, anyway. Um, lots of gigawatt here. Tons of them. Made his way out here again. Another Transformer that was hard to find. Bumblebee, Cyberverse. So many different lines going all at the same time. And uh, Double Dealer. The double agent, mercenary. There is uh, some awesome Earthrise figures still here. Robots in disguise. I remember the original R.I.D. Cool line. Ultra Magnus. Starscream. So cool seeing all this stuff all filling up the, uh, the aisle here. And it moves. It sells. There's uh, constantly new stuff coming in and going out in the Transformer section here. And one last long shot just to take it all in. Looks awesome. Up next is the, uh, what is this, like uh, third party Lego or knockoff Lego? Looks pretty cool though. Dragon block. And then the actual official Lego section. Like those uh, giant Lego heads. There's this cool uh, video display, although no one's really touching anything uh, at the moment. That's kind of a shame that uh, they did this big overhaul when all the U.S. stores closed. So there was tons of buttons that you could push for your lights and sounds and play stations where you could actually try toys out. But uh, now it's... Uh, not really all the best idea to be touching everything around. Just touch what you want to buy. There's Super Mario. Anybody got a leak? <laughs> There's some plumbers to the rescue here on sale. Another Lego section. Lego section here is just enormous. It's its own little Lego world. Some more plush stuff. Don't know what this stuff is. But... Here's a look at it. And Funko Pops. Always Funko Pops here. Andy Warhol at Toys R Us. Andy Warhol art. That is interesting. This is the video game section. Roblox. And uh, Minecraft stuff. What else do we got here? This used to be the t-shirt section. The nerd shirt section. Used to have a lot of cool uh, like comic and vintage toy. Even wrestling shirts back here. But now all that's left is some Fortnite. A little bit of Fortnite. Who's this dude? Kind of looks like Captain America. It looks like Wolverine. Uh, Batman stuff. Batman and Jim Gordon 2-pack. I'm still trying to find the Massachusetts Wrecking Crew 2-pack. I would, uh, wouldn't mind having one of those in Funko Pop form. And there's that giant long aisle that they freed up after all the renovations. Harry Potter section still here. Uh, it's, it's still going along thanks to Fantastic Beasts. There's a big Hogwarts playset. And uh, He-Man is back at Toys R Us. Battle Cat. The Sky Sled. No sign of the single carded figures here yet though. But great that He-Man has finally made his return to Toys R Us. 
Don't know what this stuff is, or that stuff. Or that stuff. <laughs> or... Ah, Kong, I wish I had taken a closer look at this. I recorded this weeks before I saw Kong vs. Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Kong. And uh, that was... Ah, Amigo figures. Engage. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I, I loved uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, but it wasn't really on my radar when I did this tour video. So uh, now I'm looking at that footage going, Oh, give me a better look at the Kong Godzilla toys. Uh, that's a cool Pac-Man controller. It's got a bunch of vintage games on it. Vintage handhelds. And uh, because it's uh, Canada, eh? Gotta have some hockey, eh? Like uh, Go Leafs. Lots of hockey figures here. And that is the latest Toys R Us virtual tour coming to you from my hometown in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. About an hour outside of Toronto, Ontario, from my childhood Toys R Us. And it's cool to still be able to, well, it was cool <laughs> to still be able to come in here a few weeks ago. And I hope to visit again in a couple of weeks when the latest lockdown is over. And uh, very happy to bring you along on these walkthroughs. Thanks so much for watching. Much appreciated. Feel free to share your own Toys R Us memories in the comments below. And to join the tribe. Hit subscribe till all our fun and nerd mistakes.